hey everybody uh welcome back i hope you all are doing very well so uh you know in coming videos or maybe uh you know in a couple of videos uh, i'll talk about market structures and uh maybe and if i get more time i'll make videos on game theory and nash equilibrium as well and we'll discuss about the dominant strategies and how this could be used for you know at the firm level to make decisions like whether to advertise or not and how much to advertise you know how much you spend on advertising right so uh so uh, let's talk about the market structure so you know there are basically uh, four market structures that we'll discuss and that depends on the two parameters one is the number of sellers in the market and uh, or the number of producers and the second one is the whether the products which they are selling they are differentiated or not so is one product significantly different from the other or not right so if there is only one seller and many buyers in the market then you call that market structure a monopoly right so there is monopoly monopoly in the market so only one seller is there who uh, is uh, you know uh, capturing all the market if you have few sellers right uh, nah, then then it's called then it's called a oligopoly right so when you have few sellers in the uh, few sellers or few producers in the market and many buyers then it is called a oligopoly right but when there are many sellers so there are large number of sellers this time and uh, you know and if the products which they are selling they are not differentiated so all the firms let's say all the producers are selling identical products then it is called a perfect competition and when uh, you know when when uh, the products are differentiated and again there are a large number of producers then it is called a monopolistic competition right uh, so this is all about the <coughs> market structure right and in next video i'll talk about the perfect competition thank you so much have a very nice day bye bye